having such a near-death experience just totally changes your life. September the 23rd, 2004, at 11.30. Yeah, it's, it's a date and a time that I should remember for the rest of my life. I was involved in a plane crash in Alaska. I was there photographing grizzly bears. The pilot couldn't get enough thrust and as we went down the runway or the beach, we didn't have enough height. And then suddenly he said, brace yourselves, we're gonna crash. One of the passengers was a lady who I actually swapped seats with in the plane because she wanted to do landscape photography from the aircraft. And she went through the window of the plane and she was face down in the water. The sea was red with blood. How did it feel to see someone like that? I felt a huge amount of guilt because I'd swapped seats with her and I stepped out of the plane with not a single scratch. And when I got home to England six months later, I got out of bed and just broke down in tears um, that I'd survived. I decided, what do I do with my life? And I have a huge passion for wildlife and I've been given this opportunity. And my dream was to go around the world in 365 days. Um, and being a photographer, I decided to take a definitive image every day. Each day was an amazing experience. I never knew where I was going to go, where I was going to sleep. So the pressure of getting something different every day was, was amazing. I met the picture editor from Heat magazine while I was in South America, traveling through on our overland track and she saw my images and my diary. And she said, as long as I just keep doing what I'm doing, um, she said it would be an amazing book. So this is the, uh, the finished published book then? Yeah, this is, this is it. It's the first time I've seen it. It's, it's just absolutely amazing. I'm just um, gobsmacked. I've got a you know, tear in my eye and a lump in my throat. It's, it's just absolutely amazing. It opened a totally new chapter for me. Um, never thought I'd ever get a book published. And seeing your story in print, it's given me so much joy. I think life is, is mapped out for you. Um, and it's totally twists and turns, whether it's destiny, whether it's fate, it is another almost total debate that you can have. Um, but since the crash, I've wanted to do more with my life and more with my photography. So um, every time I get up and I brush my teeth in the morning, I'm happy to be alive. <laughs>